Just look at this. Are you processing what you are looking at? That is a T-Rex Mr. Rogers mashup. As you can see he's got his famous puppets there. I don't, puppetry must be very difficult for a T-Rex given their arm length. Of course Mr. Rogers is from the Pittsburgh area. But uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's bizarre, but in some ways, it kind of works. Hey you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north, more specifically Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I'm in front of the Pittsburgh Children Museum and there's a very specific reason that I came here. They have a collection of Mr. Rogers puppets on display. Now Mr. Rogers, I believe, and I know many people share this belief, I believe that he is the only completely pure, completely innocent, non-Jesus person to ever live. A man that is, that is good of heart and strove to make things better. And, and then a few years ago, there was, there, was, there was internet rumors, lies, internet lies, saying that he was, he was in the military, that he had killed bunches of people. Nothing, it doesn't make you a bad person to be in the military, but it, it, it goes against the beliefs of Mr. Rogers that to be a military sniper. Uh, but these, these rumors were false. Uh, Mr. Rogers is a good man, a kind man. Any attempt to discredit him, any attempt to put paint him in a bad light, any attempt to just find that one nugget of controversy, that one nugget of yuckiness that Mr. Rogers have failed. He's a good man, and, and his work speaks for itself. And I am very, very excited about seeing his puppets here at the Pittsburgh Children's Museum. Follow me. And right here, above this pile of wooden rocks, we have a sweater worn by Mr. Rogers, a man famous for his sweaters. This actually seems really small, like maybe he was a smaller guy, I didn't realize that, but wow. That is amazing. A craft room here. All the pieces of artwork made by children who visit the museum. This section's called the attic. Looks like they have some uh, cool things in here. This is our virtual puppets where these children control the motions of the puppets on that television. But check out these puppets. These are absolutely amazing. It's a marionette right there. Some sort of some sort of demon, and uh, I, that reminds me of uh, Twisty the Clown from American Horror Story. There's some sort of chimpanzee up there, and then some some rock musicians. There's a princess there. Oh, and look at that! Look at the Tin Man right there. Tin Man marionette. And some vegetable puppets. And his puss in boots. And uh, here we have a. Uh, a uh, disabled puppet in a wheelchair. I don't know, you, you probably shouldn't be staring into this. It's, it may melt your brain. All right, it goes up. All right, here it goes. Oh, dislodge that red ball. Oh, bounces. Lurking under the staircase is Ursul the Chanter from the Dark Crystal. Some of these children are screaming. What else do the children have to play with? They have this skeleton. Children love playing with bones. Some gummy bears. Oh wow, do you see that? You see that? Let's do that. Okay. There's no bird in there. We're gonna spin it and oh my gosh, a magic bird just appeared. Watch these faces turn and follow us at every step we make. 
Ah, so creepy. It says look in mirror, press button, okay? Cool. What? There's there's a <laughs> there's a flashing skull hidden in the mirror. That might scare children. And look at this. I love this museum. Got Howdy Doody, and underneath it is a jackalope in a baby carriage. Heading into the gravity room. This is very steep. Oh yeah, it's like a whoa! It's like a little mystery shack in here. Oh, careful. Whoa! See me there in the mirror. This is quite a slant. Let's watch a ball roll downhill. Amazing. Here at the Pittsburgh Children's Museum, I believe we have the absolute most disorientating, steepest mystery house I've ever been in. You gotta love a children's museum with taxidermy. It's an adorable raccoon and a little baby carriage. Now one interesting thing about the Mr. Rogers items here in this museum is that they're not in one section. They're not, there's not like a Mr. Rogers section. The, the, the items are almost hidden like Easter eggs. Like the, uh, you saw the sweater was just there in a play area, just plastered on the wall. And I had to, was looking, because I heard his shoes were here. And I was having a really hard time finding them, but someone gave me a tip. Here they are. A pair of Mr. Rogers sneakers right there. Worn by Fred Rogers. Remember, he used to change his shoes, change his jacket. So cool. This thing is pure witchcraft right here. It's a wooden mirror. Look at that. That is... That is me. You can see me waving my hand. These are wood blocks that are like moving in angles to lighten and darken. That is weird. Okay, in this thing, there's like letters. I can, I can pick them up. Wait a minute, what's it saying? It says body on my hand. Huh, that's weird. Here they are. These are Mr. Rogers hand puppets. We got Queen Sarah Friday, King Friday, the eighth. Oh my goodness. Grand Pierre. Here is Daniel Striped Tiger. You can see he's got a little watch. Daniel Striped Tiger has actually been reborn in animated form and has kind of become a spin-off of uh, the Mr. Rogers neighborhood. This is Lady Elaine Fairchild. I'll be honest, this puppet, it scared me when I was a child. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like, didn't like when she was around. It's Henrietta Pussycat, and X the Owl. I really think that uh, the Mr. Rogers puppets were incredibly charming. They're, very primitive puppets. They're just like hand puppets. They're not marionettes. They're not like Jim Henson puppets. But uh, but he made it work. And you know the voices he did. They they kind of sounded goofy. Kind of sounded kind of all sounded like him. But uh, he made it work. I think that just that care, that passion, that goodness just really shined through. And he was able to take this extremely low budget puppet show and just turn it into something that is beloved and remembered for ages. Here he is with Daniel Striped Tiger. I would show you more of the Children's Museum, but there's a lot of kids here, and I just don't want to crawl through an ocean of children. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. It is just like a hamster maze full of children. That would be, imagine being trapped in there with all those kids, that would be terrifying. But Mr. Rogers was a humble man, so I can see maybe how you appreciate having just his items just kind of placed, you know, non-discreetly within a children's museum surrounded by children. His children is what he cared about. There is an auxiliary museum to the children's museum here next door in this big castle. They call it Museum Lab. Oh wow, this is actually pretty cool. This building here was the first free public library in America. Yeah, this building is absolutely gorgeous inside. Actually says Carnegie Library on the floor. And look, they have those weird chairs. Very relaxing. It's pretty terrifying actually. <laughs> the change is falling out of my pocket.
I don't know if all this change was mine to begin with. I'm sure what this is right here, it's that painting of the diner. It's got this weird machine next to it. Let's see if we, oh, it's pouring, it's pouring water into the diner. We're slowly flooding now. Uh, Oh, there's a big donut. That's that's interesting. This is this is lunacy. All right, how do we get to mess with American Gothic? Do we pull this string? Oh, look, makes the uh, makes the <laughs> top window open. There's a super creepy eye, and there's a disco ball. Uh, now, oh my God, the this is, this is amusing. Need to. Oh, I see, we gotta inflate the apple on his face. Oh, I made it too big. And what we do with this guy, is we just turn this crank right here and poke him. Knocked his mustache, knocked his mustache off. Oh, now his, now his mustaches are butterflies. I really appreciate you guys joining me as we checked out the Pittsburgh Children's Museum. Of course, you know, children's museums, uh, they're for children. <laughs> children have a good time painting, crawling through walls, breaking things, making messes, making things sticky, all those wonderful children's things. But it was an absolute delight to see the, the Mr. Rogers artifacts, the sweater, the shoes, and, and of course the puppets. I think it's just amazing, amazing man. And, and, and it's just amazing to see him, just little pieces of him spread out nondescriptly through the museum. Uh, if you'd like to see other places um, I've been, please check down in the description. There is an interactive map that'll show you where I've been and you can tell me where I need to go next. If, uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider buying a t-shirt. Consider donating to Patreon. A donation of $3 or more will get you a postcard. But for now, this one's in the bag.